What is up, people of the Extra Evident YouTube channel? I'm recording this like three weeks before you see it, so hopefully they have not edited any maps. But I'm going to rank all 10 Skywars solos maps. Just doing solos. If you want me to do duos or squads, let me know in the comment section down below. But anyways, number 10 is the stinkiest map of all. And it is Volcano. Hopefully it actually wins. Unlike my game modes list, I think this one is gonna be very different for many people because it's just like, the maps are all kind of a similar vibe, but there's just like different stuff about them, you know? And this one is easily my worst one. Volcano is just like ugly. It's like dark. And me personally, like, yes, it's a different vibe, but it's not like the right vibe for a dark map, in my opinion. I don't know. I know you can turn them off because people always yell at me, but I hate these like particles that float around everywhere. If you see those, those are like, I don't like it. I don't like that the dark map has dark blocks with it. You know, it's a volcano. So what are they going to do? But I don't know. I just don't like this map. I think pretty much every hive map looks good and this looks good for what it is, but I just do not like it compared to everything else. I would love to see a night map, but I'd want it like, imagine they had like a city, you know what I'm saying? Like an actual city and it's at night. That'd be fire, bro. And that is number 10, number nine. Number nine is Ivory. If you are an OG Evident P stream viewer, you will probably know that I absolutely hate this map. Like, uh, yeah. And this one, this map, I, I, like I said, all the maps look fine. It's just like this map is so easy to run on. And you already know, like, the people that play Hive Skywars, they just love a good jog. They, they love to run away when they get the chance. And so a lot of times, especially when I'm streaming, I just spend the entire time on this map chasing people because it's just so incredibly easy to run. We play Bedrock, right? So you can bridge really easily. And when you only need to place like two total blocks to get to middle, that's probably not a very good thing. Um, like, look, I can just run away. Boom, I'm gone. I'm on this island. Boom, I'm on this island. You know, like it's good for some things, but ivory is not the, the map for me. And the other thing that makes it bad is that everybody always votes for this map. I don't know what it is, but everybody absolutely adores this map. And I always play it like 50 times a stream. And there you have it. Ivory is number nine. And number nine and 10 were the only maps that I don't like. These next three are maps that I just like don't really care for you know number eight is village i almost died oh my god now this map honestly the only reason it's this low is because one i don't really care for it and two it was probably the easiest map they've ever had to make pretty much just like a house i'm getting chased by the sweatiest loser of all time so i'm just gonna like beg i don't die here can you please go away kid oh my god these people are so annoying there you go but yeah they just built a house and like Made this island, put a rock in a tree, and, you know, I don't know. It's simple, and, and if you like that, that's great, but it just doesn't hit the same for me. If this was an OG Hive Skywars map, maybe I'd like it more, honestly, but it's not an OG one, so. And people barely ever vote for this map, too, which probably doesn't help, but I don't know. It's number eight, because I just don't really care for it. And number seven is kind of the same way, but it's a little better. Number seven is Wood Pine, and if you don't know that it was called Wood Pine... Now you know. And the reason I say that is, once again, this is just a map that barely anybody votes for, it feels like. And you know, I actually like this map. It's like, it's like cool. This is one of those ones where like, I can acknowledge my bias a little bit. If this was one of the OG maps, I'd probably, it would be like a classic. But since it isn't, it isn't. I like how mid is. Mid's very good for fighting. And the islands are as far away as they probably should be when you can bedrock bridge. And yeah, it's just a, it's just a nice map. It's just a cool map, a, a nice chill map. It's definitely better than village i would say and i don't know it's nothing crazy but it's not like bad and you know it's it's not dark and it's not ugly or anything so it gets number what are we seven it gets like close to the middle of the pack you know all right number seven is balance and like i've said many times number eight seven and six are all kind of like maps i don't really care for this one i actually do play a lot like people tend to vote this one so that might have contributed why i put it as the highest of the three but for me the main reason is it just like looks cool and it's like it's kind of unique compared to every other solos map i mean i'm not gonna say it's like completely different but pretty much every skywars map the mid is like a big building and then there's like an onion ring around it and while there is the onion ring they have this like big area in the middle and i like that and i like how oddly 
place the chests are and of course i'm gonna die because these kids are weird but yeah also just like look at like look at this like that's kind of crazy like and imagine if those were leaves on those trees bro that'd be that'd be actually sick yo hive builders do that i'm also on nicked which might contribute to why i'm getting like actually focused by everybody but yeah guys while i'm getting cyber bullied and i can't show you the map this map's just the coolest i've had a lot of trapping moments on here considering how new of a map it is i don't know you can tell they didn't follow the format for this one you know what i'm saying and uh yeah i'm not gonna let this kid get the kill and i'm gonna re for number five all right number five is pillars and this map is kind of the 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 staple of what a hive map should be and that's why it's mid this is really the only example of a map that like i would like it more if i played it less type thing i just get queued here so much and like I see people queue it so much because of that whole speed running craze thing. Something I really appreciate about this map is how small it is and how everything's close together. And, you know, that's obviously why it's good for speed running. But, but you know, this map, like, because of how small it is and close together, really, like, allowed me to make a lot of content with it. Back in the day, I, I rebuilt this map and did, what is it, proximity chat? And we also did that thing where we destroyed, like, the entire mid-island. That was a that was a lot of fun. So yeah, there's some there's some good things about this map. And you know what? I kind of want to rank it a little higher, but don't tell anybody. This was my official list, but I just remembered that I did those videos like right now. But yeah, whatever. I'm sticking to the list. If we're talking as a hive map overall and not just like a thing type, you know what I'm saying? If I'm talking about playing Hive Sky Wars, this map is is number five. It is the middle of the pack, and that is my opinion. The the hard part about this video is like every Hive map is a copy paste of the other one. Like I'm sorry to break the fourth wall here, but literally play any Hive map. It will have an area in the middle with all the chests and this ring around it every time on every map. Okay, I'm not wrong. <laughs> You can you can play any map it will have that so that's why it's really hard to rank them because they're they all kind of end up playing out the same I guess but for me it was just like some of them are are the little things make them different and uh that's the case with number four all right no I I forget what I what was my transition number four is monastery you know I always say that quirky thing like oh you'll never believe what number four is. number four is monastery this map is high up as ugly as it is because um, I, it, it's very good for trapping. And while I do not trap anymore, it definitely was like my saving grace a few times back in the day. But yeah, this map looks absolutely hideous. And this is what I mean by like the, the OG map bias. Because like if they release this map now, I wouldn't like it nearly as much as I do since it's an OG one. There's no grass. It's all dirt on the ground. And like this thing looks cool. But like, I don't know. I just don't really like the look of it. But once again, the, the trapping moments were very good especially this right here if you know you know you know what i'm saying if you know you know and that is why it is so high up ranked for me and that's another reason why it's above pillars too is because pillars you can't really like trap on it very well because it's so small monastery is number four and number three what is number three i actually forget oh number three is baroque i mean just just look at that look at this map bro this one probably should be my number one in all honesty but like streaming this game so much has ruined my mind to where it isn't and if this is your number one i completely get it but this is my number three this map looks insane okay this map is crazy and i'm not there now but if you know the little area in the middle like that you go up these steps and there's that big open area is so good that's just good for like moments you know that's good for like moments in videos 1v1s with other people this map just looks crazy and it's an og one so i like it more whenever i play this map it just reminds me of sweats so that might be why it's like lower because you know i've done this so many times i just run over here open that chest and then i'm getting crit out in the back like instantly oh hey is this i think this guy's my youtube member i'm sorry dude I gotta kill you, man. But yeah, this map's this map's number three. Just, I mean, it just looks insane. The top three are all just really, like, good maps, in my opinion. One of them is more so the gameplay other than how it looks, but this one is definitely, like, the best build on any Skywars map. Yeah, that's number three. Number two is Violet Keep. Now, the main reason I like this map is because of the pacing. I just like how this map plays out most of the time. Because all these islands are, like, really small, and they're decently far away from each other. And another thing that we are kind of seeing right now is mid on this map is chaos, okay? It is so tiny that there's, like, 50 billion people here, and it actually makes it, like, sick. It's, like, fast. I don't waste my time chasing people, because you actually have to be skilled to run away on this 
this map and you can't just make like a two block jump and you're on a completely different island. And also another thing about everybody being at mid is nobody really has good stuff because another problem with Skywars in my opinion is that it's just kind of loot until you have full diamond and then you fight people. It's not really like work with what you have type thing. Since this map's so fast paced, you don't really get the chance to immediately wait around and wait for full diamond. You just kind of have to hope you survive. And my YouTube member is back. Let's see if he gets his revenge. Oh my god, he's destroying me. Well, GG's. And, uh, yeah, Viola Keep is number two. And, uh, number one. We are on the, the number one map. My favorite map on solos. It might not have been what you expected coming in here, but it is Wildwood. Now, there's a few reasons why this is number one, but the, the first one is the, the trapping stuff. I have done a lot of traps on this map, specifically trapping, like, YouTubers, you know? Once again, if you know, you know, but there's this iconic trap right here where you break this. Of course, it's TNT. You break that, you put some blocks here, and then they like, oh no, you know. I just, I don't know. I just like this map. I don't know why. Like I said, every Skywars map is pretty much the same, but I just like this one more than the others for who knows why. But one thing I do know I like is it is impossible to die to the void on this map. Watch, I have one block, okay? I will clutch. It is that easy. You know what I'm saying? It's impossible to die to the void on this map. And that's another reason I like it, because I've, once again, I have streamed Skywars so much that this map, if I was getting stream sniped or somebody was targeting me or something and they hit me in the void, it was probably chill and I was able to, to survive, you know? And also, like, the mid is just, like, really simple. Yeah, this map's just clean. It's just, I, it's, I don't know why it's my favorite once again, but it is my favorite. I can tell you that much. Also, these towers were like the first thing ever in Skywars to have like lava in them. And that was like really, I don't know. I had fun messing with that. There you have it. There is my list. The worst is Volcano and the best is Wildwood. But that's just right now. The worst will always be Volcano, but the best, my favorite map, that is, can probably change like pretty rapidly, you know? But yeah, that's my solos map rankings. If you want me to do uh, duos and squads, please let me know. I would much rather do those, I'm going to be honest. I just like the duos and squads maps way more and I have spent way more time on them. So yeah, let let me know if you want me to do that. Thank you for watching the extra evident video and I will see you in two weeks.